the distribution function for a continuous random variable. So sometimes you may be interested in knowing the value of the continuous random variable x is less than or equal to some value, some real number x. So for example, this is the density function, right? And we may be interested in knowing that what is the probability that uh, uh, this is less than equal to, let's say, x1. What is the probability that the random variable is going to lie here like this? Hmm? What is the probability for this? Uh, so just think about it that supposedly if I have the density function like this, and I take up one point A here and B here, so this is A, this is A, so the the probability that the random variable x is going to be a or less than a is this. Hmm? The probability that the random the that the random variable x is going to be b or less than b is going to be this. Huh? So if a is less than B, then this cumulative this uh, cumulative function is going to be uh, less than B also. If A is less than B, then F of A is less than F of B. The probability that the random variable X would be less than or equal to A is F A. That probability is going to be less than the probability that the random variable x would be b or less than equal to b right so one thing is there Achha, other thing is this is also true this is also true so it is going from uh, like this so i should rather draw it this way like this uh -huh. like this so it is going from minus infinity to plus infinity so the probability that it is going to be minus infinity is very small that is zero hmm? So the value is uh, the random variable X is going to be less than equal to minus infinity. That is going to be zero. And the probability that the random variable X would be uh, less than equal to infinity. That is almost one is going to be everything here. No. This is equal to one. So these are few points which you have to keep in mind before I write the formal definition. So please write the formal definition now. If X is a continuous random variable, And the value of its probability density at t is f of t, right?
then the function is given by fx equals to that this capital X is going to lie is going to be less than equal to small x, which is going to be this. So I've just calculated this probability that the capital X can lie uh, less than equal to this X one, which I'm writing as small x here. For minus infinity, less than equal to X is less than equal to infinity is called the distribution function. It's called the distribution function or cumulative distribution function of capital X, of capital X, right? Uh, so if I have If small fx is, uh, if small fx and capital fx are the values of probability density, and distribution function of capital X at small x. So small fx is the probability density function. Capital fx is the, uh, this guy, your uh, cumulative density function. So the probability that this is going to lie between A and B, okay. Just have a look at this. It is going to be like this. Uh -huh. Huh? So I need to find out this probability. I need to find out this probability, right? This probability between A and B. Between A and B. So one way is I can use the probability density function, right? Or what I can also do is, can't I do this? That uh, I find out the probability uh, cumulative density, I find out the cumulative density at A, right? I find out the cumulative density at B, right? So if I subtract the cumulative density of uh, cumulative density of F, sorry, of uh, X at A from cumulative density of X at B, I'll be getting the same thing, right? So it is FB minus FA, FB minus FA for any real constants, A and B with A less than equal to B, right? So if I want to find out the cumulative density function of the same problem, which we did, hmm, this guy. Uh, so 
of the same problem which we did. So how can we write the cumulative density function for that? So the, my problem was this. <clears throat> so your question, you can write it like this, find. The distribution function of a random variable x, right? And use it to reevaluate. Like this, and use it to reevaluate like this. Hmm. So it's the same probability density function which we had in the other recording, like this, right? So for small x greater than zero, I can write the cumulative density as minus infinity to X. So I need to find out what is the probability that X is going to be less than equal to small X, right? FTDT. E to the power minus 3T. If you remember, if you remember, we, we wrote we found out k as equal to three, and I'm just using that. And zero to x, which you will solve this, and you'll be getting this. Uh, so how do you write the cumulative density function? For x less than or equal to zero, it is zero. For x greater than zero, it is like this, right? And if I want to determine the probability, uh, which I found out in the last uh, recording, So I can use this theorem, which I wrote. So between 0 0.5 to one, if I need to find out, so I'll be writing the cumulative density at one minus cumulative density at 0.5. I can do that. So both of them are greater than zero, one and 0.5. I'll be using this. So it is going to be what? one minus e to the power minus three into one. That is this minus one minus e to the power one minus e to the power of uh, this thing minus three into 0.5. So that is minus 1.5. So once I solve this again, I'll be getting 0.17, right? So this is, uh, so in this recording, we talked about what is the cumulative density function for the continuous random variable, right? And we did one simple example based on that.